I'm in beautiful Northumberland today where I'm about to meet a rather unusual guest for the programme and this might give you a clue. How did it all begin, and was it was it something? You um, to do? There's, a, there's a story in cutting it short. It was, he was he was in a barn for years um, and kind of very dilapidated. Right. Uh, last year, um, coming in a great an agreement with the the, the previous owner. Um, because basically I promised I would look after it. Is and this uh, you've, you've done before with cars, or is this something entirely new? N- I've n- I messed about when I was a, when, when I was a kid with them, you know. Um, mm. When I when I passed my test years and years and years ago, there was like loads and loads of scrapyards, and an easy way to get around was have an old car, and you know the, the bits were virtually free. It was easy way to, to drive and stay on the road. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I mean this is like number seven of these. Wow. I used to drive these when they were nearly free. Nobody wanted them. And how fast does Hector go? Can you gather some speed or? Eventually. Eventually. We, Pro- don't, we don't want to push him too much. <laughs> <laughs> how fast he? You know, uh, like, uh, if you're on a long journey, you'd be do, you'd do maybe 60 miles an hour, right. um, quite comfortably for a long time. Uh, but that's not the joy. Yeah. The joy is like 45 miles an hour, roof down, sunshine. It's great. <laughs> I was hoping to do it was going to be a bit more sunny, but uh, it's still a fine day, so are we going to have a little spin in? Yes, sure. absolutely, 100%. Wait, wait. resurrected the Northumbria 2CV group, right. which I kind of think ceased about 25 years ago. I sold a flat one time, the first flat, yeah. and drove around the north coast of the Mediterranean in one. So, oh. yeah, so, you know, spent a lot of time exploring. He's noisy, it's quite noisy. Oh, he's very noisy. They're known as a noisy little car. I mean, they're noisy without the exhaust not in the bottom of the... Dry, that's it. I'll, I'll use him as opposed to me, like that. Oh, you can get it in, I can get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had chalk in the back seat to come out, man. Honestly? Oh, yeah, the back, the back seat, you can get a donkey in there. <laughs> yeah, let's Donkeys, the goats, and sheep, and everything in the back of that. <laughs> Them along, put a deal. <laughs> it's, this, this, this is French agriculture at its finest. It is. This is great. Oh, he's really going now. <laughs> the acceleration's picking in. And you go. Steady on, Hector. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, all my dad used to have one of them, or, or you know, I had one of them back in the, in the 70s, whatever. Yeah. Um, I remember, I remember going to a gig once. It was like with, with, with a drummer friend of mine. Who, who, you know, he was sharing a van with me. He was like, "And what? We we're driving down the A1." He says, "If you could have any car in the world, any car you want, what would you have?" He says, "I'll have another two CV." And he always remember that. And when he found out that I got one, he says, "You manifested that. You, you absolutely did that. You, you created that." Well, there we go. 